What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fancy Fitness. So the day is finally here when the Mr. Olympia 2023 will be crowned and the confirmation rounds in the finals just concluded. It is great to see almost everyone improve from the prejudging to the finals. I want to take a moment here to admire Tony Burton. If I'm not mistaken, he is the lightest guy in this lineup. But damn, he looks so impressive in that confirmation round. Although he was standing in between Regan Grimes and Michael Crizzo, two of the widest guys on that stage. Now, let's talk about our top three. The judges made them work, guys. And all three of them got a chance to stand in the middle, starting with Samson Dauda. Report says that he weighs 300 pounds on stage, the biggest guy on the Olympia stage tonight, and that too by a long margin. And even when Samson Dauda was put in the middle at the prejudging, his body showed a whole lot of pop. Maybe it was that he was being compared to the two former 212 guys and the eyes were being constantly drawn towards him. So they put Hadi Chopin in the middle and Hadi definitely came in a lot tighter. From the looks of it, I think they're gonna give both of the back shots to Derek Lunsford because he appears the tightest from behind, from head to toe. But you just cannot ignore Hadi's density in the back last spread and even his back double bicep is a lot more improved. Hadi's abs and thigh shot the most muscular shot, they are just way too good for anyone in this lineup. So they ended the finals with Derek in the middle. And really you can make a case for Derek as he can be the new Mr. Olympia. But the thing is he is getting smoked by Hadi in that most muscular shot. And Derek did got hotter as the show went on as they posed more and more. Unlike the prejudging, there he kinda faded at the end. I will make a separate video about Derek's legs. Because the thing is he lost a lot of size after dropping water which is really worrisome. And with his upper back growing so fast, it could become a problem in the future. So Brennan Carey came in fuller, which was great to see as they had more time to fill up. So from the looks of it, Andrew is pushing him really hard for fourth place with Hunter and Crizzo in sixth and seventh. I do have to admire Hunter Lebrada here as well. He was spot on in terms of conditioning. So it is the last time to call your predictions. Who do you guys have winning? 